distribute or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Pay for your badass kids. Pay for your kids, lady. Pay for your kids. What do I mean by pay for the kids? You might not be too happy with it, but here we go. In North Georgia says control your kids or pay extra. It has a policy to tack on a big surcharge for what it calls poor parenting. They are watching. Channel 2's Brian Mims live at the restaurant in Fannin County. And Brian, customers have opinions about this. No doubt about it. If there's a consensus among those we spoke with, it's that the policy is a bit extreme, but it won't stop folks from eating here during lunch and dinner. We're at dinner time now. The place is packed. There's even a pooch patio for the pets. The owner says he simply wants parents to protect the whole dining experience. Here on a winding mountain road along the banks of the scenic Tacoa River, this restaurant can reel in a crowd. At lunchtime, a long line of cars is parked on the roadside. Now glance at the menu. Along with fresh local trout and steak, it has an adult surcharge for adults unable to parent, followed by three dollar signs. Here's two cents from customer Ann Cox. It depends on how bad their kids are. Maybe, she says, such a surcharge will prompt parents to make their progeny act properly. Parents need to teach kids etiquette. Mm -hmm. They need to teach kids to behave. There are other people in the world and it's okay to have fun in the right place. A customer recently posted this on Reddit. The owner came out and told me he was adding $50 to my bill because of my children's behavior. The owner, Tim Richter, asked not to be on television. He told me he started the surcharge during COVID and he never threatened to use it until a couple of weeks ago. That's when a family with nine kids showed up and he says the children, in his words, were running all over the restaurant. He says he never charged the family 50 bucks, just gave them a warning. Federico Gamineri is himself a dad. Well, this is the first time I've heard of that and, uh, you know, having a 20 month old who, you know, maybe isn't the best behaved at a restaurant. I'm hoping that I don't get charged. Jack Schneider says the surcharge seems a stretch. But at the same time, we've all sat next to tables where, hey, you know, do something with that kid. So I think it's really more on the, on the parents. Now, despite the protest, the restaurant does have some favorable reviews and high ratings online. The owner says, all are welcome here. He simply wants, in his words, parents to be parents. Reporting live in Fannie County. Okay, kids been acting a fool at the restaurant for a very long time. Okay, let's make that clear. They've been acting a fool for a long time. Do my act a fool? No. But a lot of white folks' kids do. <laughs> they would clown in a restaurant, in the stall, in the mall. And wherever you take them to, nail salon, um, the kitty zone, <laughs> ice cream, <laughs> candy spot, it don't matter. They going to act for not all, not all of them, but most of them, okay? Now, some of ours are act for too, you know, when we ain't paying no attention. But uh, should these people charge them and charge the parents extra because their kids was being bad during the restaurant. Hey, your rules is your rules. But I tell you one thing, I'm not paying. I'm not paying. I will give you your food back. I am not paying at all whatsoever. So we finna get into the second clip. The second clip this is the last clip for, for today. Um but this is the clip with the parents, I think this is <laughs> <laughs> it was a bunch of them kids, y'all. It was a whole bunch of them. It was too many. It was too many to be trying to take out to a restaurant. Cook at home. But this right here, it was too many. 
Here we go. Going viral on social media for having what's called a parent surcharge on their menu. This is pretty interesting. The charge, according to the restaurant, is for adults who can't parent their children. Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose spoke to the restaurant today on Aska Road in Blue Ridge after a bad online review sparked a national conversation. I've never left a review in my life of a business. When I left there, we were leaving reviews. Brian Garciolo is still in disbelief after what he calls a nightmare experience at Tacoa Riverside Restaurant in Blue Ridge. The restaurant now gaining national attention for one-star reviews left by Garciolo's friends online, who say the restaurant wanted them to pay extra for bad parenting. He basically said he has raised his children, he's not going to raise ours. Carciolo, a restaurant owner who lives in Central Florida, says five families, including his own, visited the restaurant on vacation with 11 children, all under the age of eight. After finishing their meal, Carciolo says someone from the restaurant made a surprise visit to their table, saying the group should pay a parent surcharge. The fee is listed on the restaurant's menu next to three dollar signs and the words unable to parent. Carciolo says he thought it was a joke. The owner tells me he's had this parent surcharge on the menu since the pandemic, but he's never had to enforce it on any of his customers. He wants to emphasize that the charge is not for kids, but for adults who don't know how to parent. The restaurant says they never charge Carciolo and the others the fee, but they told us the group had to be, quote, really bad for them to bring it up at all. A representative for the restaurant went on to say there's nothing wrong with kids and families coming to the restaurant, but kids running wild through the dining room isn't parenting. Carciolo says all the kids were well behaved. I don't suggest a family go there. With the surcharge going viral on social media, some have called the fee discriminatory and vague. Others, like Lee Ellis, tell us he drove over an hour away just to pay the restaurant a visit. I think it's a good thing, and I came because of it. In Blue Ridge, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First. He said he think it's a good thing, and he traveled to go be nosy and see what was going on. <laughs> that's what he traveled for. Now, y'all can believe what you want to believe, but I'm telling you now, that's what he traveled for, okay? To be nosy. He knew the news was going to be there. So he was like, uh, let me go ahead and get in where I fit in. All right. Now, I was trying to find the um the little sticker. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Uh, but it's okay. I'm going to pull myself down so y'all can see it. I want y'all to look at that little receipt thing. It's, it's behind me. So, uh, hold on. I can do this. And I can still stay up here. Uh, right there. Okay, so we're going to look at this little receipt thing. Okay, yeah. Let me bring me down. Oh, I forgot a way to put it up there. Okay. Yeah, I should still be able to hear me. Uh, that's the receipt up there at the top. And it says gratuity. Let me make sure y'all can hear me right quick before I continue to go on and talk. Can you hear me? Let me see. Continue to go on. Yep, y'all can hear me. Okay, so it says... Um, adult surcharge for adults unable to parent. And they got $3 signs. So that means it could possibly be over $100. <laughs> and this is what they add to your receipt. You might not even know about it when you walk in there and sit down and your kids start running crazy. Now, me personally, I'm all for it. Charge them. Do something. I don't want no kids running by me when I'm eating my food or running up to me talking to me while I'm eating my food. Can barely talk. <laughs> yeah, I know which ones I'm talking about. Them one year olds. <laughs> yeah, them. Uh uh. Don't come up to my table. I don't want to smile at you today. Okay? But 
some of these parents, they will sit there and they will smile. They'll look at you. And oh, like, she's so funny. No, it's not funny, ma'am. Get your child away from me. They is not coming to me acknowledging me as Miss Peachy from Peachy Tea Time. <laughs> so get your kids away from me. And I'll, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. If you're out at a restaurant, you come to the restaurant to sit down and eat. Teach your kids that too. Now, I don't have a problem with it because I know I would never get one of these. Because <laughs> my kids know not to get up and run around a doggone restaurant the way these people was talking about. So it doesn't bother me at all. But um, I'm all for it, baby. I am all for it. I am all for it. Yes, Carmen, it is not funny. She said, I don't want to be bothered with bad ends kids either. Not why you eating. Some kids be spitting while they be talking. <laughs> they be all over the place. This I'm going to want to touch you on your arm. Some of the white kids, because they can't understand that there's black people out here. <laughs> Let me quit. <laughs> so they touch you all on your hands and stuff like, oh, oh, get your hands off of me. Dirty hands. Been crawling on the floor <laughs> and everything. You know? I mean, but some of our kids do the same thing. <laughs> Some of our kids do the same thing. Carmen, you so funny. Some of our kids do the same thing. Uh, but kids will be kids. Kids will be kids. They will be kids. So try to train yours up right. And you ain't got to worry about getting charged extra. Look like it's like I told y'all, look like it could be up to a hundred dollars. So, all right, y'all. We are out of here.